Hey, Justin from Gold Penguin here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to test out content to kind of get a hint to see if it was made with AI. Um, I'm going to be using something called the Giant Language Model Test Room, which was made from people uh, from MIT and Harvard. And basically what it does is you enter text and it will see if the next word is predicted uh, through GPT-2, which is uh, one generation old of GPT from OpenAI. Um, long, like to, to simplify this, basically seeing um, if the text that you have after one word is predictable, and if it is predictable, um, how predictable, and it's kind of a decent shot at seeing if something was written with AI and not from a human. So to show you what I'm talking about, and then we'll get into some examples, is the cat was playing in the garden. So like in this example, um, green means the word after was predicted in the top 10 of the a top 10 uh chance that it would be there. Yellow is 100 and purple is, uh, or red is 1000 and purple is above that, basically meaning it wasn't even predicted. So in this case, we could see cat was here because uh, it's pretty hard to guess that cat was going to come after the word the. But if we get into other things, like if we go to this machine text, we can see that all of these words are pretty simple. So the following is a transcript, um, which here, this one was was rare, but still still came out into the first count. You can change this if you say you want uh, 50, but wow, these are still, this is pretty predictable, pretty predictable text. Um, but yeah, and then you can get harder, and then we can also show a New York Times article, which you can see these words are a bit more complex, which AI cannot really write at that point yet. So you can see that these are um, definitely going to be a lot harder to, to fool the system. And then here's some academic text, which, uh, but again, these, these numbers are, are what they were before, but even if we change this to 100, we can still see that this looks pretty uh, pretty believable, pretty human written and not really able to be fooled through AI yet, but uh, one day, one day we'll get there. So I just wanted to do a little tutorial on how to use this, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the same prompt in uh, from something that I wrote a couple years ago, I think. Um, and then we're gonna go into HyperWrite, Jasper, and Lex um, AI. And we're going to see how social media content moderation will play out when we put this into the tester. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the first, let's do like two paragraphs about this. And let's head back into Glitter. We're going to paste it and analyze it. So we can see that a lot of the words that, that were used were pretty human, <laughs> human based. And Again, this isn't really an exact way of telling, but you can definitely see that there's a pattern uh, written with AI versus not. AI doesn't really have that high of a vocabulary. You will have words here and there that go crazy um, and look really complex, but generally speaking, uh, for a lot of the commercial AI programs right now, it's not really going to get you anything that will look like this. So yeah, this was something that I wrote, and now we'll head into HyperWrite. And let's go with um, social media content moderation. So why social media content moderation is important to a society. And let's hit auto write. So I'm using HyperWrite, Jasper, and Lex because they're kind of the three uh, AI platforms that I use kind of regularly. I know there's other ones like Copy AI and a bunch of other things, but yeah. Okay, so the number of reasons why social media, okay, so this is written kind of like an essay. Um, I'm going to open this in a document and we will add one more paragraph to this, which it should hyperwrite or should type ahead. Um, let's see what we could do. Yeah, so this is kind of like a, a summary. It's not really a anything crazy. So, okay, whatever, we'll copy these two and let's see how this does in Glitter. Um, my prediction is it will be pretty, pretty green. We're gonna see a lot of green here. Okay, yeah, so you see sometimes it does throw in words, but um, some of these words also are kind of hard to predict anyways. So there are a number of reasons why blank, like it's not really gonna be able to guess the next word. So even though we do see some reds here um, and some some purples here, you can, some of it kind of just doesn't, doesn't make sense anyways for like how would it know that social would be the next word which I know is the point of this but uh, still pretty easy to see. You can also change it to the fraction um, version which you will see text that's in white is a lot less likely to be written by AI, green is AI but if you want to view it in terms of the colors again keep it at the top K which is going to be based on these numbers. So now we'll head into Jasper and we'll do an introduction about why we need social media content moderation. Let's put this in here, and I'm gonna keep this actually the same. 
Let's generate a paragraph or two. Let's see how Jasper does. Okay. All right, I think this is, this is pretty good. So we'll go ahead and use this, paste this back into Glitter, and let's see how it does. Oh, I don't know if it got everything. Uh, no, I think it did. Okay, yeah, um, again, pretty easy to, uh, to spot. <laughs> Social, obviously it's not gonna know what that is because how is it gonna know the first word, uh, what it's gonna predict? So can't really use this as a way of telling, but generally speaking, it looks like this is pretty simple, grammatically uh, formatted and nothing too complex. And the last one, we'll do Lex, and this is an introduction about why we need social media content moderation. I think the page is broken. Let's go ahead and reload this. Um, okay, I'm gonna make a new document. Okay, an introduction to why we need social media content. Let's generate and see what it does. Okay, in an age where social media is so prevalent. Um, yeah, I mean, again, this text is definitely readable, usable, but if you are trying to tell if something is written for an AI, then this should be pretty easy to tell. So again, once again, uh, this is Lex, and you can see that it pretty much got everything. Um, we can change this again down to 30 or down to 50, and it still looks like it's pretty easy to tell. So yeah, here's some other uh, human text. Here it goes again. But it's pretty easy to, to tell that most of this is written with AI. I know we kind of just did something simple. You shouldn't really use tools like Jasper or HyperWrite to fully write all your essays and writing copy for you. Yeah, so not all text that's written with AI is necessarily bad, but this is definitely a great predictor to tell if something is. Um, for whatever the reason may be of why you want to test if something is written with an AI, let's say you are hiring writers and you want to make sure that they're not writing anything that's, that's written with an AI or um, any kind of documentation, really up to you, whatever the reason is, but this is definitely a great tool and it's the best thing that I've found now that will test if something is written with AI. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe if you want more content. Thanks.